the epoxy has cured on the glass we put on. And I've already gone and trimmed the edges uh, down. Uh, I should probably trim that down a little bit too, but right now we're going to wire this baby up. These should be the two inside pieces. We'll put them face to face. Tensy line up, and I should retrieve a couple clamps here. It's not imperative now, but it's just nice to keep them in line so it's easier to poke the wires through. Okay, and on this one, as you've seen before, we'll take some tie wires that are about oh, three and a half, four inches long, whatever's handy for you slide this over and then we'll just start fold them in half and then run them through both panels. I'll do a close-up when I get down there. And then just put this Phillips screwdriver in because you want the uh, be able to pull it out. And then these pliers, heavy pliers to just put a twist in it so it's snug. That gives you usually enough clearance to when you open these things up that uh, you're not going to rip out the, the plywood. This is basically what we're doing here. We take your fingers and just bend them, bend them over, and then run them through the hole. And then try to center the wire. You can't. It's not important, but it helps. And then just put a cross in it. And I still out of the way. Yeah. And just tighten up. We'll do that all the way down so I'll finish the rest of them off camera. Got it all wired, one end to the next, about every six inches, because these are the uh, one foot station grid lines we put in, so I put one in the middle, so it's every six inches until I get down to the end, and I think I went about every four inches. So now we start making a boat. Kind of set it up on the end, and you'll start hearing screeches. With this uh, thinner plywood, you want to take it easier. I haven't really done much. Yeah. Let me come back after I get it tied down. Okay, it's starting to get it widened out, and I've got my block here tied down. And I've been going along with a block of wood, knocking the edges over to where they should wind up. down flat. This will spring up a little bit when I start putting in the side panels. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, the quarter inch bolts out, start drilling the uh, bolts, the holes for bolts and putting the washers in to tie this baby down so it can't, you know, the sides can't move up and down on me. So let me start doing that. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going along about every foot and putting, drilling a hole, quarter inch hole. 
drop it in a uh, bowl. A washer and a nut underneath of it. And just tighten it down, not very tight, just so that there's no no play anymore because we still want this thing to be able to bend around as we add the uh, side panels to it. Yeah. And I'm starting to get into some tighten up on the bolts a little bit. Uh, I'll come back when I get this done, but that's pretty much what you're going to be doing, just going along, drilling holes, putting the bolts and the nuts in, and I'll come back and show you what I got after I have it all finished. Okay, we have the keel line anyway wired and bolted up, so now I will go ahead and uh, start putting one of the uh, side panels on, which is <laughs> an adventure in itself. Okay, I've got the panel, side panel set up, and you may not have a hundred and some dollar century stand around to, to hold everything up with, but I find those, those things are invaluable around. So uh, I'm going to tentatively wire this up. It's looking bigger than what I thought it did, but then when I start measuring the model and then everything looks, looks right, so uh, this may get trimmed down before I let it out of the shop. So I'll do a tentative uh, drill and wire up back here and uh, go from there. So we start up on the end and match up. Don't drill into yourself. And we'll just start wiring this along. I usually try to get like four or five wires in it to get down to the end to kind of follow the curvature. Well, I got one side tentatively wired on. I will go um, put about four or five wires on it just to make certain that the ends are going to come out. And like you'll remember when we were cutting out the panels, I was debating on the arc links. I said that uh, I was, you know, the model came out right, but somewhere along the line, my measurements on the arc links were the ones that I should have gone by. And uh, I redlined the end over on the lower corner for the bow. Uh, and it was about five eighths longer than what I thought. And that's what I had when I was measuring the arc links. So that'll be readjusted and I'll cut those off camera. But the thing that, that I always had, every time I wire up one of these boats, I look at it and say, boy, this thing is taller than than what I think it is, but then I haven't, I haven't spread it out and it's not quite conformed yet, but then when I measure the, the panels and then go back to the model, uh, it's like it's what it's supposed to be. When I look at the model, it's, it's right on and then I always have, I put a, a person in it, a scale person, and so it, it just looks right, but almost every time I build one of these things and I look at it, at this stage, it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, we'll start up another one as I uh, reposition. But I'm going to go ahead now and start drilling some more holes with one drill and wiring. And then I've got another drill set up for the quarter inch uh, bolts. So I'll walk this along. And uh, usually I start at the stern and uh, work any air along to the bow and then uh, there's some spots down here where it slide in so I know that the end will be off. Uh, it'll go either one way or the other and then I will cut it, measure it and cut it thin and then do the opposite on the other side and then get that panel welded in or wired in. So, in back here before I put in the uh, the first nut uh, and we'll come back and if I put a 
twist in the wire, I think I've said this before on some of my other videos, you can get the wire to go in as soon as you get both legs in, then you can untwist it and then take your pliers and pull it down through and then give it a, just a slight twist on the outside. Put in one of your bolt nut. And the uh, head of the bolt here is more than enough to hold them, but you want the washer on the outside to uh, act as a uh, a flat. You got the boards coming in like this, so you want the washer on the bottom to, to kind of keep them even. And after you get the nut in, go kind of a tap and then go around behind and cinch up some of the wires that are in that area. for the next. So let me go ahead and finish this out and we'll come back after I got that, this side done. Okay, I've got the rest of the nuts and bolts in there and the wires and then as we get down closer to the bow uh, I added some more. They come a little closer at the end there just to hold it in and I may or may not add another bolt here. It depends on how all of this comes about. I think I might be able to get away with it right now, but I have to uh, trim that off. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'll use my draw saw on that Japanese draw saw. Well, I had a little problem here as I had the boat the other side and I was trying to pull the stern panel panels into, well, bottom of the, the panels into the line for the V on the stern. Uh, crack! damn uh, thin limber four mil plywood just snapped so I had to put a, a patch on the inside and I just flipped it over and put a patch on the outside back here about the last about foot and a half on the hull and I'll do I did the same on the other one just for in case it uh, when I flip it back over and try to do this again I don't break it uh, again to the uh, uh, fiberglass layer is going to uh, definitely make it stronger uh, to resist the bending moments and try to break. So I'm going to go flip it over and we'll uh, work. I also kind of wanted to show the um, the bottom of the hull up. I usually try to do that to see if the, uh, the bottom is a straight line. Sometimes with the tension of the plywood it'll pull it. The sides will come apart and it'll get a dip in it. But um, also the only place I had to use the bigger washers was where all the panels come together here. I bored out a little bit of hole or a bigger hole and put in a longer bolt and there's a, a, a shaped uh, fender washer on the inside and then one on the outside here to hold everything together and then uh, when I after I gel magic the hole all that comes off with the wires and I'll go ahead and then fill it the rest of the hole but I just wanted to show you that one little thing and then down along the bottom all the wires and the bolts holding all the edges in line let me flip her back over again and then we'll get into the uh, putting the uh, transom panels together.